And my sixth tip is making true friends. So in junior high and in high school, there's going to be a lot of social friends or acquaintances, people that you're going to see at like birthday parties or um, whatever events if you're in high school. And they're going to be people that you can have fun around, but maybe when the chips are down, um, you're going to realize who your true friends are. If you're going through something, if, if something happens and the people who reach out to you are going to show you who your true friends are because it is very easy to be somebody's friend when it's fun and when there's nothing going on and when you don't have to put that much effort into being their friend. It's so easy to be friends like that, but that's not real friendship. And it's so hard to realize at that age. Um, I had a best friend all through junior high and she was so much fun and we had so much fun together. And um, somewhere either entering into high school or right before that, I realized that she was not the person I thought she was. Um, she was doing shady stuff behind my back and just, I realized that she was not a very um, giving person or someone who would put people before themselves. So that really didn't fit in with me. Um, but so I invested so much time in that friendship and now I'm an adult and it, it didn't matter, you know? I mean, it mattered at the time, but like, I'm not going to be friends with that person ever again and they weren't in my wedding they're not in my life now um I have literally one person I think from high school or junior high that I still talk to and that is like my best friend that was my best friend all throughout high school and we are like you know like this when we're together we could not see each other for a while and then we just reconnect and it's like this and I would do anything for her and um, I think it's the same way on her end. And uh, those are the type of friendships you want to build, is my point. You want to build friendships that you can look at and say, my friends from high school or junior high even are the people that are going to be my bridesmaids someday in my wedding. Um, and most importantly, you want people that are going to build you up and you build them up, not people who are going to tear you down. Um, Find genuine, nice people who add to your life, not take anything away. My number seven uh, tip and advice is to uh, join groups and get involved. So when I was in junior high, I found the group called Campus Life, which I am sure is still around, but it was a Christian-led group. And um, it was something I met a ton of people through um very 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 good um adult leadership as well um like i said i'm a christian so it was a christian group and i learned a lot and um they taught me a lot about myself and um you know keeping myself wholesome and um appropriate and remembering that you only get your first kiss once you only get certain things in life once and you don't need to be in a rush to do them and all of that but that's a side note um but that's important listen to taylor swift's uh 15. <laughs> that's a good song for that but um it really really helped me meet people and then i was with it all the way through high school even and i think some of college, I actually worked on the other end of it and was um, like a, a counselor for um, the youth then. But uh, in high school, I met um, like tons of friends. I met someone that I dated for four years. I met um, some other super, super good friends through there. I um, went on a trip every single year with them to Florida for a spring break and made friends that way and um, met people that way and uh, 
one of the guys I dated, I even met on that trip. So, um, it's just, I met a lot of people and, um, I was not super dating in junior high. So I wouldn't worry about that so much in junior high, but in high school and just keep in mind that it's a high school relationship and some of those do turn into marriages and some people do marry their high school sweethearts, but if you don't, don't get hung up on it. Don't, um, like let everything else suffer because of a relationship that fell through or something like that. Because again, with the hindsight, someday you're going to look back and you're going to see why you traveled the road that you traveled down and you're going to look at your, um, in my case, I can look at my husband and say, I, um, had all these other relationships and, you know, I guess don't regret them, but they led up to me meeting the person that I was supposed to be with. And, um, you know, in some way you need those things to build you up as a person. Same thing with friends, like the friends that I met that I'm no longer with, it's all this time that you invested. And, um, like I said, the one girl I was friends with for about four or five or more years. So I invested a lot of time in that. And, um, it's okay though, because it helps make you the person you are and it helps you appreciate what you have now. And it helps you figure out what you do and don't want both out of friends and relationships. And that's a really good thing to know because you could be with somebody for a really long time and then look at them and think, yeah, now I know what qualities I don't want, um, in my husband someday. And, um, yeah, so just make good choices and make good choices for yourself too. Don't let people pressure you into things, but join good solid groups. Um, kind of got off on a tangent there, but join good solid groups. Join, uh, if there is a Christian, um, group and you are a Christian, uh, join, um, like I said, choir was really great for me. Um, if you're into cheer, but that comes with a lot of competition. So if you enjoy that and you can handle that, that's great, but join something that doesn't put more pressure on you too. join something that you can have just for you and meet people that are like-minded and, um, have fun just have fun and meet people in these groups. And some of those relationships are going to be the most important ones that you're going to walk away with too. And, um, my eighth tip is staying organized. I suck at this. I am not a very organized person at all. I'm actually really, really, really bad at it. But, um, I always, brought a planner. Like I always had a planner for every year of school and I loved my planners. Like that was one thing that I loved to keep very organized and turn to for everything. So I'm going to show you guys right now, like this is my planner with everything for YouTube and all of my videos and all of my plans. And this is the list right here that I'm reading off of. And, um, you can see how I've lined everything up here and how I've laid it out. There's also go, there's also a um, vertical uh, edition of this specific kind of planner. I got the horizontal because that's how I always grew up with writing and I like that format better. But this is a really kind of indulgent planner and you don't have to spend that much. I never got like a super expensive planner when I was in uh, middle school or um, high school. But um, if you are in high school or in college and you want to invest in a planner, these Erin Condren ones are really amazing. And um, there's tons of stickers and tons of things you can do to stay organized on Etsy too. But like I said, I'm not even using any stickers except these are counting down to my Vegas trip. And I used one tiny like sparkly little dash sticker to make my list. But um stay organized. So get a planner. Um, locker shelves really helped me out a lot because you can have whatever you need to take next on the top. 
whatever you are done with for the day on the bottom. This is more applicable to high school. Um, but um, keep your locker organized and keep your books intact and just stay on top of things. Stay on top of your assignments. Stay on top of your test so that you have plenty of time to study. I am a huge procrastinator and all through college even. And um, some people are not good at that. And it's not, it's not a good thing to be or to practice, but um, I am the type of person where I can perform well under pressure, but some people that is just way too much stress. And even for me, it's so much stress to do that. So don't do it. Don't procrastinate. Stay on top of things. Start it at an early age and then it just will become a part of you and you'll be an organized person when you grow up. And trust me, it'll pay off. And everybody around you will be like, I'm really glad that you're an organized person because I'm not an organized person. And people around me are like, girl, you are a mess. You are not organized. Um, but that's who I am. So I embrace it. And my ninth tip is feeling left out, which kind of ties in with um, fitting in. But if you feel left out, it's kind of the same advice that I've given you before. Find like-minded people. Find, um, if you love drama, do drama. Do sets. If you can't make the play, do sets for the play. Um, go to the play. If you don't, if you couldn't do anything, like just, and then talk to the people afterwards who are in it, if that's something you're interested any step you take, any baby steps you take towards anything is at least a move in the right direction. Um, like I said, join groups, um, sign up for things, um, join whatever interests you in school and talk up in class and, uh, you know, that will show the teachers that you care and then there will be other students that are on that level with you too that you guys can like help each other um strive better i had somebody that i was super competitive with in junior high and my teacher actually sat us next to each other because we kind of had like not really a love-hate relationship but a like hate relationship and um we were always super competitive about who was higher ranked in the class percentage wise so that was a good thing for me because it pushed me. And um, if you can find somebody like that, even, you feel like you fit in with them because, uh, you know, you have the same interest. You want to do well in the class. So whatever that means to you, just find somebody or turn to your friends if you don't feel like you fit in in school. I hung out with a lot of people from other schools, too. So, like, I didn't spend a lot of time with people from my high school because I was always spending time with people that I had met through campus life from other schools. So in my free time, I would hang out with them. So if it's not something that you're feeling at school, like feel it after school. Um, do something that makes you happy. Don't worry about fitting in so much because you're always going to fit in somewhere, whether it's at home, uh, whether it's at school, whether it's in a group out of school, friends out of school. Just find your little niche and and stay there and don't worry about it because it's not going to be anything to you when you're in your 20s and you're like, man, I was not the cool kid in junior high or high school. It's just not going to matter to you. So don't sweat it now. And my tenth tip is just to be yourself. Like I've said throughout this whole video, just be yourself because you're, you're good enough and you matter to people. I promise you, every single person watching this video, you matter to somebody. And I have seen some people's Twitter accounts that say really scary things that seem like they don't value themselves and they don't care about themselves. Um, I have a degree in psychology, I have done lots of work with lots of different things, but don't ever feel like you're not worth it. Don't ever get to that point. Don't let anybody or anything take you to that point. Surround yourself with good thoughts. Um, Self-affirmation is something you can do. And this literally means to just look in a mirror and tell yourself, 
I am beautiful or I'm smart enough or whatever it is that you need to remind yourself of. Make a post-it, put it on your vanity, put it wherever you brush your teeth in the morning and read that every day. And the more times you hear it, the more times you're going to believe it about yourself because it's easy to believe negative things about ourselves. It's a little harder to believe the positive, but be yourself, be unique, let the world see that and let the world um, gain from knowing you because you are an individual, we were all made individually, um, and you have so much to offer the world. And in junior high and high school, you may or may not even know what that is yet, but you are gonna do something spectacular and you are gonna make someone's life spectacular and just have faith in that and always keep that in your heart and always know that you matter. Um, you guys matter to me. So that's case in point right there. You matter to at least one person and I'm sure you matter to your parents. So I'm definitely not saying that my opinion matters, but I just want to say that you guys matter to me. I care about you. I have taken the time to individually talk to people and answer questions about this topic. And that's why this is a long video, but I wanted to cover all of this for you guys for any uncertainties you're feeling. Um, I tried a DIY video for back to school and it turned out horrific, but um, I feel like this matters so much more. And I know it's not the most like fun and yeah video, but I hope that this helps you guys. I hope that this helps someone. Please comment down below if you like this video, give it likes. Um, comment down below if there's anything you're struggling with or if you want to contact me privately, send me an email that's listed on my YouTube or, um, you know, Twitter message me privately, whatever. If you want or need advice, um, I don't mind and I'm here for you guys. So that's it. And just love yourselves and have fun. Um, like I said in the beginning of this, this all sounded kind of serious and kind of daunting, but junior high was the best time of my life. Like, um, obviously I'm married now and I have my babies, but, um, so that definitely ranks higher than everything. But I had so much fun in junior high. In high school, I really didn't have that much fun, but, um, people say like high school are the best years of your life. Trust me, wasn't for me. Um, there's a Brad Paisley song that you can look up that says if I could, it's called if I could write a letter to me. And he basically says the exact same thing. Um, he did not have a good high school experience, but look at him now. He's a famous country singer and he has a wife and kids and a beautiful family. And that's what it's all about. In the end, it's about the people who are going to stick with you through life. And um, it's about you having fun in the moment you're in. So junior high, if you're just coming into it and it's scary, try to let that go. Try to just embrace every moment and live in the moment because there is so much time that I lost not doing that and worrying about everything that I wish I could get back. But you will have the time of your life in junior high and in high school. You're going to meet some of your best friends and you're going to meet some teachers who have such an impact in you on you in their life um, that it, it, it's going to be amazing to you looking back at it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it didn't sound too like, I don't like this word, but preachy um, or like I'm like, you know, like giving you guys like take this advice because this is just my opinion, my experience. You can take it with a grain of salt. You can say, I really don't care what she said. And that's fine. But if this at least helps one person, then that matters to me. And like I said, you guys matter to me. And you matter to yourselves. And just remember that and stay true to who you are and have fun in your years of school because they can be a blast. So enjoy your guy, enjoy yourself guys. And, um, all the best going back to school 
and thanks for watching. Bye.